Without objection, the gentlewoman is recognized for one minute. Too often, we forget that the Affordable Care Act is about more than numbers. It's about real people. So for the next six weeks, I'll be highlighting the voices of my constituents who flooded my inbox with heart-wrenching stories about why the law must be preserved. Constituents like Paul from Snohomish, whose son-in-law died of cancer before the Affordable Care Act. His disease started small, but growing up, his family couldn't afford insurance and he delayed seeking care. By the time he got a job with health coverage, the disease had progressed too far, and he died at the age of 29. Paul wrote to me and said, the certificate of death says my son-in-law died from cancer, but I believe he died from a broken healthcare system. We can't go back to a time when getting sick meant going bankrupt. Across the country, Americans like Paul are telling Congress not to repeal the Affordable Care Act. We should heed their advice. I yield back. The gentlelady yields back for what purpose?